Model Year 23 Mitsubishi Triton and ASX plus a special GLS based limited edition Triton just announced I have count em dude four highly confidential dealer only memos on this for you free to download because I'm a bastard details next I'm John Cadogan from AutoExpert.com.au and I get new cars cheap. Yes! In addition to being the country's leading automotive investigative shit stirrer. Australia on the website card. Now, I've got a treasure trove for you, dude, because somebody just reached up under my skirt and handed me four documents and I want nothing more on a otherwise perfectly serviceable Friday afternoon than to reach up under your skirt and hand the same thing to you because, hey, what goes around comes around. Now, I've got four documents. This is one of them. And the best thing about this document is what it says. It says the information contained in this document is confidential and intended for Mitsubishi dealer internal use only. And that's why I'm giving it to you, because confidentiality does not work this way. And there's a couple of things about doing this, okay? I'm doing it for a reason, one of which is that this stuff, okay, is less nauseating than anything issued in the public space or the retail marketing kind of space, right? This is just stuff that Mitsubishi tells its dealers about the car. And if you're in the market for one, the bottom line is that you are in a deeply adversarial situation and you're also fighting on their terms at their place, like you're on their terrain and the battle is taking place here. Now, it can be completely pleasant, polite, whatever, but it's adversarial because you want different things. You want your car as cheap as possible and they want as much of your money as they can get. And that's what makes it adversarial, despite how hail fellow well friggin' met it might be. So I've got four documents for you. I've got this sort of cover letter that explains the uh, main bullet points to the dealers from Mitsubishi. I've also got three product information bulletins, one on the model year 23 Triton, one on the limited edition Triton Sport, and one on the ASX, okay? And if you just check out the description, you'll see a download link to those four documents. And I sincerely hope they help you because then you will know as much as the dealer knows if you're in that position. And I just want to go through this main one here, at least the uh, top of line parts of this main one, which is Mitsubishi telling its dealers exactly what to expect with model year 23, Triton and ASX, and this limited edition a limited edition as well. So they go, Dear Valued Business Partners, I think they mean dealers, today we're pleased to formally release the 23 model year updates to Triton and ASX. The 23 model year ASX receives revisions to the model lineup with a new entry model GS joining the range. So yeah, new poverty pack base model shitter. Fleet managers everywhere getting a little... Trouser TP on that one. They say the ES model gains some additional safety features as standard previously reserved for the outgoing ADAS model. So ES ADAS RIP, dude. Meanwhile, the 23 model year Triton features new black side steps on all cab chassis and pickup variants. Yes. GLXR and GLS models are now equipped with the factory fitted SDA1 unit with HDMI port. So this means that the infotainment is available again now. So perhaps this is another sign that the chip shortage is receding into the background, however slowly. They go, they go on and say, in addition to the model year update, we're pleased to announce a limited run of the special edition GLS models, the Sport Edition. How many days, dudes, did it take to dream up that name? The Sport Edition. Well done. What's sporty about it, I wonder? Probably nothing. Has been developed by MMC, Mitsubishi Motors Corporation, the mothership in the land of the rising sun. In response to ongoing requests from our market, they mean from them, like Mitsubishi Australia, in search of more sporty and attractive offerings. Fancy that, making something even more attractive than a Triton. The GLS Sport Edition features red exterior accents on the side steps. 
Ooh, ooh, nothing says sporty like that. That's number one. It might be number two, who knows. Um, rear bumper, and also the red accents on sidesteps, rear bumper, and a red skid plate up the pointy end. Red all round, yes, yes, yes. Black grill, door, mirrors, door handles, and tailgate handles. So they're just ripping that off the GSR, obviously. Uh, interior features include black leather with red stitching. Woo. Power driver's seat, heated front seats, and multi-around monitor. So absolutely nothing sporty in the sport edition. Go figure. It arrives in a limited run of 400 units in order to test the Australian market and gain insights to supplement development of our next generation Trident. So, I bet they don't say this publicly, but it's a lab rat thing. We're seeing how many people go for ultimate tack. Very clever. Almost underhanded, isn't it? The limited run will be allocated fairly across dealers later this month. You see, if I was running the company, I wouldn't do that. I'd do it unfairly. I'd just give it to dealers who were cocks, right? Because they'd be the ones making the company the most money, I'm tipping. So it'd be a little pat on the head for the most profitable dudes. Still, I doubt that I'll ever run Mitsubishi, so that won't happen. Pity and is in addition to existing pipelines. So these are extra vehicles for dealers. Yes! They must have, what, about 80 dealers? So that's about five extra vehicles each, maybe. Now, I wonder if it's prorated based on how much they sell. Anyway, you'll be free to offer the vehicles to waiting customers. Like, just, dude, sorry you've been waiting. Here's a Triton. Display or otherwise use them as you desire. What about a Demo Derby Sport Edition? Out the front this Saturday. That'd sell cars. This special edition will not be advertised. <laughs> will not be advertised by MMAL Mitsubishi Motors Australia Limited, or featured on the Mal website. Nothing says we're standing behind this one with complete confidence, like cone of silence, does it? If well received, we may lobby MMC for future special models or similar offerings. Overleaf, you'll find information regarding an accessory pack specially designed to complement the Triton GLS Sport Edition, as well as pricing and price protection information, the product information bulletin, PIB, which you can download in the comments. Dude, I'll put a, I'll put a pinned comment with the download link in it as well. Is provided in addition to this bulletin for your referral. Okay, so basically, they're also going to sell this accessory pack. It's called the Triton Sport Edition Accessory Pack. Very creative. Mal has created an exciting new accessory pack to complement and enhance the Triton Sport Edition to make it even more sporty than not sporty at all. The Sport Edition Black Pack will enhance the dark, sporty nature of the SAM, whatever the SAM is, the sports something model, with a mix of stylish and functional accessories the pack includes matte black hood protector. Ooh, yeah. Weather shields, black side decals. So you get black side decals as well as that hideous stripe over the bonnet. Under rail tub liner and cargo tie downs. And it's only $3,475 fitted. Ooh. Actually, I think that's probably pretty good value because the tub line is a good thing to have. The tie downs are very friggin' useful. It's really hard to tie anything down in a standard ute. Like, where do you start, right? The weather shields, okay. I'd pay extra to have the black side decals not applied, frankly. But anyway, seems okay. There's some price protection information in the document as well, which I'm not going to share with you principally because it might just be the miracle cure for insomnia that has eluded medical science for all of these years, except if you're a customer and you need to know that the price protection cutoff date is close of business October the 13th, which is next Thursday, right? So you'd want to get your order in before then. And there's also a process here that's kind of laid out, a set of hoops that the dealer has to jump through in order to protect the prices, right? And I'd be standing over the dealer and watching like a friggin' hawk that he did that because if there are price rises between ordering and delivery, you will be protected. And that's pretty good of Mitsubishi to do that. But you've got to make sure the dealer jumps through the hoops. Otherwise, 
right? And the other page, the remaining page, is just the price list for the ASX, the eight different whatever it is variants there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variants there, and the five trillion different Tritons you could buy, right? The really, really interesting thing here is right there, dude. It's the the basic price of a Triton GSR, drive away. It's like, uh, oh, jeez, it's... $60,490, I need longer arms. That's the private price drive away, like for someone without an ABN, right? So $60,500, let's call it. And just two years ago, sort of on the other side of the pandemic and the other side of this supply chain fiasco-ish, right? $53,500. So this vehicle has gone up $7,000, which is between 12 and 15 percent in price and yet it still manages to be substantially cheaper than a comparable Hilux or Ranger or the fully loaded BT or D-Max, Navara, whatever, right? The insanely good value despite its 15-ish percent price hike. So you also get Super Select 2 which is the four-wheel drive system that allows you to run in all-wheel drive mode, like in four high with the center diff unlocked on a high traction surface, which is just a massive advantage in so many situations. Like try driving up a wet driveway without that. In You can't do it in a Hilux. You can't do it in most ranges. I'd have to look more deeply at the specs of the the top spec ranges before I could say definitively about Ranger, but you certainly can't do it in a BT or a D-Max or, you know, a Navara. They just don't roll that way. So that's a massive advantage too. And it's still so much substantially cheaper than these sort of specked out competitors. It's definitely worth a look. I'm not so sure about the hideous stripes on the sport model. There's only 400 of them, so you'll see them out the front of dealers. They'll be a bit of a display option, I guess. But Look, if you're in the market and you're seriously thinking about jumping in the next few days, go to the description, hit the download link, get the documents, and then you and the dealer will be on the same page. It's not as if there's anything tremendously unknown in all of this. It's just a better way to digest it because then you and the dealer can be like, yeah, you know what he knows. And it's much easier to take than all of that retail fluff. So anyway... If you're in the market, I hope this helps. It's certainly going to help me not get a friggin' Christmas card from Mitsubishi this year.